Hello everyone, Triple S here, and welcome to Tales from the Borderlands. Now, I've been waiting for this game for a while because I have tried playing Borderland games and never really got into it. So I'm hoping if I play this, I'll be able to get into it because I do quite like Telltale games. Played Wolf Among Us, Jurassic Park, can't wait for Game of Thrones. So yeah, let's start this off then, play, start episode 1, zero sum, and we're in, loading, so yeah, hopefully I can, I don't know if you could hear me then, but, like with Wolf Among Us, PC, it seemed to stop recording because of the loading, Back again to hear another story of immense fortune and unthinkable peril. Well, I have some time. The borderlands of Pandora were told to contain mysterious alien treasure troves filled with advanced technology and incredible power. Vaults, the people called them. And to seek one out was to earn you the title of Vault Hunter. At least by me. You could say Handsome Jack was one such explorer, though his methods could be seen as uh, somewhat unsporting. He ran the corporation Hyperion and died trying to claim Pandora as his own. History's attention is fickle, my friends. It will remember those pirates like Handsome Jack, but forget the adventurers who risk it all for less... Ah, obvious rewards. Stories, legends, those are much better at getting at the real spirit of things. Stories remember both sides of the tale. Oops. Oh, no, we're good. Right. Yeah, it seems a bit quiet, so I'm just gonna alter some things. So, one, two. One, two. Hopefully that evens out. Music seemed to be a bit loud when I was testing, but now the vocals just seem quiet. Prosperity Junction. And there's a skeleton. Oh, who's that? Hello. Fiona! Come on, we can work this out! Fiona? Oh, is there some sort of radiation leak I don't know about? Reese! Company man, you. And he just got knocked out. With a gun. Ah. And now being dragged. And we're tied up. Oh shit. What is happening right now? I ask the questions. Okay, then do you mind asking yourself what you're doing? Oh! <laughs> what the hell? Tell me about the Gordis project. <laughs> is that what this is about? <laughs> Look. Gordis is bad business. If you want a real hot investment, I am on the ground floor of some property on E. Okay, 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 okay. Don't be Gordis. <laughs> I'm not a patient person. So just start talking. Just where do you start when you're getting dragged through the desert and, uh... From the beginning. Right. 
Hey! It's a little bit different than making dialogue choices in The Wolf Among Us. You can just spring out of nowhere then. I guess it all started with a promotion. See, I'd spent my entire career up at Hyperion, so I suppose that makes me one of the bad guys in this story. And Handsome Jack, he was the you baddest guy of them all. This long. It must feel good I to wanted to be it, just you know? like him. Take it. It's yours, right? <laughs> I mean, you always said that. <laughs> Everyone did. I gotta be honest, I always thought it was sort of cheesy, but, uh, but hey, here Which we are. Which resulted in a company overflowing with assholes. <laughs> Animals. When Handsome Jack died, it somehow got even worse. <laughs> it took some time to fit in. <laughs> but a few stabs and select backs, a new haircut, and the help of a couple friends, I was on my way to get the promotion that was going to change my life. Scratch that. Our lives for the better. I was a little distracted. It was a big day for us. Luckily, Vaughn was concentrating on the important things. What's the first thing you're gonna buy? I know what Henderson's making. I do his payroll. Vaughn, your best friend, the money man. If you're getting a fraction of what he earns, you'll be rolling in it. Yeah, there are a couple sweet rides I've been looking at. More fitting of the position I'm gonna be in. Where the hell would you even drive that thing? We're in space. <laughs> I wouldn't actually use it. It would be more for looks. Oh, right. Well, then that's a great idea. We're meeting with a vet afterward to celebrate. She booked us a table. Yep. Sounds good. Look, we had to do a lot of awful stuff to get you to this point. Do I regret some of it? Sure I do. Every night it haunts my dreams, but that doesn't matter now. Because <laughs> you made it. You deserve this, man. And don't ever think you don't. And don't ever think about the Iridium Mine deal we put together. Hey, hey, we made it, okay? We're in this together. If I'm moving up, we're all moving up. You can be certain of that. I appreciate that, Reese. You know, Yay. people around here have short memories when it comes to that stuff. You, me, Yvette, we're gonna run this place. Yes, we are. All right, man. Let's get that Hyperion face on. Oh, right, yeah. Um, fake smile. Hmm. No, oh, we need some condescending. Damn. Not too friendly right now. Okay, tell you what. Tilt your head back. Uh, like if you ask me if there's anything up your nose. How's that? There you go. You don't respect me at all. Perfect. <laughs> I'm liking this already. I'm all about story when it comes to games. Henderson? Have a seat, Reese. I'll just be a second. No, I wasn't talking. Oh, look who it is. Yes, Joe I from Family Guy. Now. Yeah, but I don't want it in red. I want it in black. In because black. black is better. Look, I love the way you Concern yourself with why, okay, Jerry? Concern why? yourself with how. <laughs> and just send the car over when it's ready. Company car. Didn't even have to ask. Best guess. Your Hyperion nemesis. You look surprised to see me, Reese, and... If I'm reading the situation right, and I usually am, you're not too happy about it either. This all came together quick. So, you might not have been in the loop. Oh, congratulations on your promotion. I love what you've done with the office. Going for the whole minimalist thing. Oh, that's cute. Stole our damn position. You were supposed to get you're promoted. You're going to be reporting to me now. And I want you to know the promotion that you worked so hard to get. That's still coming to you. Well, that's a relief. Because <laughs> I... But this is about more than that, Reese. It's about your future in this company. Look, you want to know the reason why I'm in that chair and you're not? For the exact same reason why North is North. Why the handsome guy always gets the girl. And why every spaceship in the universe is shaped like a cock. Yeah. <laughs> It's destiny, Reese. And men, real men, men like me, make their own. And they shape shit like vaginas would look weird. Like. Not no getting anything no against valley. vaginas, but it would Thoughts just look weird. are your own. But bad things can happen when you swim against fate. Sometimes men find themselves standing in the way of other men's destiny. 
You don't want to be that man. Oh god. <laughs> wow. I could not have timed that better. That really helps dramatically make my point. Which is this. This promotion is going to take you out of the way of other people's destiny and put you on your own path. And that, my friend, is why I am promoting you to... Jerry, why isn't my new car digistructing in my office yet? Vasquez, it's August. Oh, August. Uh, yeah, cool, listen. I actually have somebody here with me, so... Uh... Are you buying this vault key or what? Because I... How did this happen so quick? I thought I'd have more time. Of course I'm still interested. I... Yes, I'm near a computer. A vault key, eh? Ten million. Yeah. It's just that's a lot of money to get together on short notice. I mean, I'm not trying to be obstinate, but I need time. He's doing all this right in front of us. Oh. Uh -huh. I didn't do anything. Yeah, you can't activate Echo no Eye. Do you want the money or not? Because I. Holographic computer more expensive. I currently viewing one encrypted file. It's not, no, it won't be a big deal for me to get. It. Okay. Coding. It's pretty cool. Okay. Why are you trying to screw me on this? Oh, fine. Just wait there, okay? I can only be down it. If it's gonna be ten million dollars, I'm gonna need another hour or two. Okay, yeah, I'll be there in a bit. Well, then just stay there. It's a <laughs> the guy still floating around outside. Buy a mug or something. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, say hi to your mom. Damn it! Ah, oh, fuck. Sorry about that. Oh, right. Something popped up. Now, uh, what were we talking about? Before we were so rudely interrupted. You were, you were lecturing, lecturing me. me. It was taking a while. All right, your uh, promotion. <laughs> Henderson was a fool. He didn't know his place. He needed lesson number one. Humility. But you... I respect you, Reese. That's why I'm going to make you assistant vice janitor. What? No. No, you, you, you can't. I'm the boss now, Reese. I do whatever I want. Report to Sewage Scout 23. Effective immediately. Oh, great. You're a dick. You can't humiliate me. I quit. Careful now. The only way you quit Hyperion is the way Henderson did. You're oh, dismissed, shit. Reese. Go Dynafy it, Joe. I'll let you know when I need my trash can emptied. God damn that voice. <laughs> what the hell was that? He can't do this to us! He just did. No. No, no, this can't be happening. I'm finished, Bob. I'm finished. You know this place is. There's blood in the water, and everyone can smell it! No, 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 they can't. Not yet, unless you don't quiet down. We just gotta keep it. Kick it! Senior Vice Janitor Reese to Sector D451 for trash cleanup. Because that is your job now, to clean up trash with your bare hands. Sorry, oh, that was a mistake. Something? I interrupted you. Reese, why are you cleaning up trash? I thought you were getting a promotion. Trash duty seems like the opposite of a promotion. Henderson's dead. What? Are you sure? Yeah. I mean, you can ask him yourself. He's floating outside in space! It's that prick Vasquez. <sighs> he threw Henderson out of an airlock. And demoted Reese to Trash Man. Holy crap! So, does that 
mean you're not buying? <laughs> your best, your other best friend. Requisitions on lunch leech. Well, just try and lighten the mood. And I didn't bring my wallet, so if someone pays for me, I'll tell you who's gonna pay. Vasquez. I don't know if he's the type. We can't to... let that prick get away with this. We need to do something. He just killed a guy. Maybe it's better we lay low for a bit. What? No deal. way. We hit back. We steal his deal. We steal his deal. Yes! That is what I'm talking about. What are you talking about? Vasquez set up a deal on Pandora for a vault key. Whoa. That must be why he got the promotion. The only thing Hyperion cares about more than money is its vault keys. It's perfect! I mean, not only do we screw over Asquez, we have a freaking vault key! What are they worth? Like a billion dollars? More. Yeah, but we need ten million dollars right now to make the deal. Hold, please. Done. I'm not gonna lie. That was impressive. <laughs> I'm in accounting. I mean, it's what I do. Ten million bucks is chump change around here. By the time anyone notices, we'll have a vault key. Cool. Well, looks like you boys got it all figured out. I'm gonna go eat. Alone. Call me if you don't get killed, Whoa, 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 right? hey, hey, we need your help. We need clearance, transportation. You're a requisitions master. We need that stuff. Yeah, maybe a loader bot or two. You know, things get dicey. Look, it's one thing stealing from a bunch of poor suckers on Pandora. You're talking about stealing from Hyperion. But we're friends. Friends help each other steal stuff. I mean, that's how it works. <laughs> Richter used to steal candy bars. His family still doesn't know where the body is. Come on, I'll buy you the lunch I owe you when we get back. Fine. <laughs> but you're buying me lunch now and when you get back. <laughs> Done. We only got a couple of hours. Go withdraw the cash. I'll get you guys clearance to Pandora, get you geared up, and issue you a standard Hyperion town car. What? Standard? Really? I mean, you can't spring for premium? Seat warmers, maybe a convertible or something. Sure, yeah, a convertible. So, just so I got this straight, you want me to get you a car to drive around Pandora that leaves you less protected, right? Look, it just... You're gonna steal something, I figure... No. No, don't worry. I've got a car in mind. <laughs> Loading! Um, I'll just wait till it finishes. And I'll pause. Right, so there we go. First episode of episode one of the Tales of Borderlands. Um, thank you for watching. Reminder to it, it's something YouTube channel essential links in the description and outro. If you check that like button, like. So I'll see you all next time for the next part. So I'll see you all then. Goodbye.